Hey guys, in today's video we'll be unboxing and taking a first look at the Corsair VS550 ATX PC power supply. So as you can see I've got the box right over here. This power supply is capable of supplying 550 watts, 120 millimeter fan, 80 plus certified. This is not 80 plus bronze or gold certified, this is just 80 plus certified. And hey, that's what you get at this price point. This power supply is fairly cheap. It's got a single 12 volt rail which is capable of supplying 504 watts which is fairly decent. So we've got a motherboard connector, we've got the CPU connector and I think this is how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, I think this is 6 pin CPU connector. You can just break it down if your motherboard has 4 uh, pins to connect the power. And we've got 2 8 pin PCIe connectors, 4 SATA connector four peripheral connectors and two floppy disk connector which no one uses and it just shows the efficiency of the power supply over here I think around 25 to 30 percent load this power supply will be maximum efficient and I think the Corsair VS series is perfect for home gaming PCs and office PCs but if you're building a high performance PC with dual GPU setup I would recommend that you go for Corsair CX series or the HX series Anyways, we've got the warranty guide and we've got some important safety information manual which we don't need to read and we've got the mains power cable comes with a fuse which is inbuilt it's a 13 amp fuse I don't know if you can see it so there you go there is a 13 amp fuse alright so I've got the power supply out of the box and it's got a really nice build quality to it it's all metal there's your 120 millimeter fan and I'm really surprised to see all of these cables are individually braided so this is a really nice addition even on a value series power supply and here you can see the heat shrink wrap around these cables really nice let's take a look at the other side there you go VS550 all of your ratings are over here can pause the video now if you want to see all right so we're taking a look at these connectors that we get with the power supply so first off most importantly the PCIe connector so this is the PCIe connector you can see this is a six pin plus eight pin connector you can join these two to make it eight pin and you get two of these so you can power a big beefy graphics card up with this power supply so and secondly we get this CPU connector this goes into your motherboard and you can join this up to make it a 8 pin connector you can remove this to make a 4 pin connector and here you have the connector which goes into your motherboard this is the main connector which goes into your motherboard you get two SATA ports SATA connectors I should say and we get another SATA connector your peripheral connector for your fan controllers and other stuff you can plug in older hard drives over here another one of those peripheral connectors and here you have a floppy disk drive connector which again no one uses another SATA connector that makes four SATA connectors two more uh, traditional hard drive connectors or peripheral connectors and one more floppy disk drive connector and on the back of the power supply you can see the insides You've got button and the place where the power cable goes in alright guys so I will install this thing and I will be right back alright so I've installed the power supply and I'm running a video game just to do a stress test this is rise of the tomb raider and the GPU usage is pinned at 99% I hope you can see so it is running and here is the power supply Corsair VS550 and I've installed it upside down so that the fan is facing downwards it'll pull the air from the fan grill which is down here in the case and the power supply is slightly warm so my configuration here is a Core i5 2310 I think this is a Sandy Bridge CPU and I'm running a GTX 770 it is an MSI graphics card two fans anyways Nvidia recommends that you use a 600 watt power supply for the GTX uh, 770 I hope you can see 
this is on the NVIDIA's website so this is for the GTX 770 so this is kind of uh, stressed out over here this power supply is under stress right now now I've installed my 770 from my main PC into this computer just to do a stress test on the power supply so I will be installing the 550 Ti back in my uh, PC over here and I will be installing my 770 back in my main gaming PC which is over there so the voltages on the 12 volt rail is 12.11 volts you can see the multimeter is plugged in in one of these uh, hard drive connectors of the power supply so yeah this is under full load because this graphics card does draw a lot of power you can see these uh, PCIe connectors over here one of them is a 8 pin connector one of them is a 6 pin connector really nice graphics card so yeah everything is working fine although the game pins the CPU at 99% it is maxed out obviously so yeah this power supply is working fine so thank you guys for watching my video. I hope this video helps you out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys next time.